guys, welcome back to Depression Notes YouTube page. Make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see more videos. This video um, is about how to tell when it's getting bad again. So it's really important to um, be able to notify like when it is starting to get bad again. Get these warning signs when they st first start to show up because it make can make like it a lot easier in recovering uh, later on. So basically the first thing um, I think I should point out is changes in diet. Changes in diet are a huge sign of when something's getting bad again. So say if you either have a loss of appetite or maybe more of an appetite, that can be an indication that maybe things are getting bad again. And sometimes it might it might not be due to, due to that, it might be due to something else. But I think this is a huge indicator and I think that's something to sort of take note of because that's sort of one of the first things you might actually just start to notice because it's quite, and other people might start noticing that. So if you have noticed that and maybe is time to start um take a step back and just like have a look at what's going on and see like oh maybe i'm starting to have a bit of a relapse and sort of try go on from that thing is sleep if you are either getting too much sleep or too little sleep it might be another indicator like sleep is really important and like i think it can affect your mood but with your mental health if it's starting to deteriorate that can affect your sleep that can affect you getting to sleep you may just find it very difficult you may be very restless which can then lead you to being very tired and stuff during the day so if you've noticed a change in your sleep pattern recently um maybe that is a sign that it is starting to get bad again Other things include like being more irritable than usual so say things are just annoying you just that bit more sometimes it might be again it might just be due to something else another thing is social withdrawal this is like a huge indicator for either yourself or for someone else if you notice someone starting to take a step back from your friendship take a step back and just sort of stop including themselves sort of um spending more time alone that can be a huge indicator that something someone is going through something rough or something it may not be depression related or mental illness related but it may be something quite serious so if you are starting to do that or something checking yourself or check on a friend or family member if you've noticed that someone else is starting to do that if things start getting bad again there can also be other indicators such as um concentration issues so you may be finding finding it hard to concentrate in class or at work or something like that and maybe memory problems so you may struggle to remember certain things and that can be another indicator and like something that other people can quite notice so if someone sort of points that out you might be like oh maybe it is starting to get bad again and maybe i can then go and get help or something like that and then another thing is physical aches so often with mental illness it's very different from physical illness but sometimes physical illness can call me mental illness mental illness can call physical illness they're very interconnected despite being quite dif different so say if it is starting to get bad again you may notice actual physical signs so that's why i think physical signs are more easy to identify because you can tell if you have an ache but you can't really tell oh i'm not okay okay right now like it can be more difficult to determine that so i'd say it's really important to just take note of any sort of changes whether it be in your mood or in your physical like self so yeah these are just small little warning factors small little warning signs that oh maybe things are starting to get worse again and i definitely say check like just check like just go go to your gp or whatever just be like yeah things are starting to get bad again maybe i do need therapy maybe i do need medication or something like that maybe you do need just need to talk to friends there are so many things out there you can go and do there are suicide hotline call um places you can call um we often post that on our twitter so for different countries in the world or you can just google it like if you just google your country and then suicide hotlines something will usually come up like straight away in the google thing so if you want to do that or possibly um just talk to people i think talking to people is one of the most important things so if you've noticed that your friend is going through something like this they're going through a relapse just talk to them just take them aside and be like hey like i don't want to be like weird but like are you okay is everything going all right in your life right now because it can just mean so much to someone if they are starting to go through a difficult time again and then someone reaches out because it just feels like you're not alone and you're not alone so yeah i hope you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos and i'm gonna try to start doing them more weekly it can be difficult because like i'm a uni student and i've got all that stuff but right now it's the holidays and i am working a lot of the time but i try to do the video so i'm gonna try to make them more weekly and stuff so yeah i hope you enjoyed this if you have any video suggestions please comment them below or whatever it would mean so much to me and would inspire me and yeah i hope you have a nice day